Well, I think heat treat went as well as could be expected. Uh, the knife has turned a straw color after tempering, which is a good sign. And it's a consistent straw color as well. So the edge didn't turn a different color. So I think heat treat was successful. So is tempering. Encountered one, only one slight issue during heat treat was that the, uh, the tang starting here is a little bit bent this way. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but uh, it's something I'm, I'm gonna need to fix right now. No big deal. I'll just uh, heat up the tang, uh, making sure that the rest of the blade stays cool and just bend it back a little bit. So uh, it's, only, it's only a slight warp, so I'm not too worried about it. Overall, I think it went pretty well. I will fix the tang, polish up the blade, and then get it ready for acid etch. All right, this thing's done drying. So we're just going to dip this into the ferric chloride for 20 seconds and then go ahead and neutralize it in our baking soda water mixture, which actually I need to, I need to add baking soda to that. I don't think there's really a formula for it. It's just baking soda and water. So here we go. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. and 20. So there we go. It's kind of darkened, it's darkened already. So then we'll take it over to neutralize. While it's neutralizing, we'll go ahead and wipe off what it etched off there.
with our quadruple hot steel wool. And it sort of turns into a grayish color. So there we go. Wiped everything down. Looks pretty darn good. So now what we can do is wipe it off. And if we're satisfied with that, we can keep it that way or we can do go in for a second dip, which is actually what I'm gonna do. pretty good but we're gonna do it one more time so here we go we got one two three Really, this achieves the exact same result as dipping it in there for 20 minutes, except it's, in, in terms of the color that it turns, um, I never found that, you know, keeping it in there for 20, 30 minutes at a time really darkened it all that much compared to what I'm doing, compared to what I'm doing now. Um, in fact, this might, it, it's just, this seems better. I mean, you can, you can dip it as many times as you want and you still achieve pretty much the same result. Um, and and it, it feels like an even more even result than, you know, a long soap. And brush with the steel wool. I think for this one, I'm gonna let it air dry. Looks good. All right, well, this is gonna be the end of this particular part of this process. Uh, I finished the, finished the etch. It looks pretty good. Um, obviously, I have some things to learn about grinding and, and that's pretty much, you know, where I'm at right now. Um, you know, a uh, lot of things to learn about actually finishing a knife, doing all the pol polishing up and, you know, things of, things of that nature um, on a belt grinder or hand sanding. But uh, um, obviously this piece isn't perfect, but, uh, you know, I am still learning about this kind of stuff. So there is some good news, though. I have received, I have received an package in the mail. And this should be the knife that I'm swapping for. There we go. San Mai, San Mei, I don't really know how to pronounce it, still haven't figured that out. Beautiful San Mai from the Lucky Irish Forge, and I'm going to put a handle on this. Uh, I've had some time to think about what I'm going to do for the handle, but I think I'm definitely going to incorporate uh, multiple different kinds of materials like I did on the uh, Vanagander chopper knife where I glue a bunch of stuff together. It's going to look really cool. I'm, I'm I've got a couple of different materials in mind, but uh, that's going to be the next video in this series. So now that I have his knife, uh, I'm going to send him mine to uh, go ahead and finish up, put a handle on it. Hopefully he won't have too much trouble putting a handle or a guard on it. Uh, he told me he's going to do a uh, heat fit up, so he'll heat up the guard and hammer it on and uh, it'll, it'll have a nice, uh, a nice tight fit on that. So. Um, that's going off to him, Lucky Irish Forge. Thank you so much for watching.